What's up guys, Alex here with another video for you guys. In my last video I gave you guys a project file on the simplicity intro and a lot of you guys wanted to uh, wanted me to make a video on what steps I took in order to make the intro. So if you haven't seen the intro yet, click the annotation above and it will take you to the video. The download link for the project file is down below in the description. So let's get started. So when you first open up the project file, you should have two video tracks and the top one should be the text media and the bottom one should be the background now first off we're gonna start by making the background and as you can see it, it's a light tinted color and it's sort of like a soft gradient with like light coming out from the bottom of the video screen so to do that we're gonna go to our media generators tab go to our solid color and select any one of these solid color presets and we're gonna set it down onto the timeline now we're gonna select the color and we're going to kind of drag this little uh, cursor down until we get a shade between light blue and light green and we're going to get this target point and place it in between the light green and light blue kind of the transition between the two colors and um, we kind of want to make the color really light but not too solid so we don't want the color to be overly saturated we just want it to be a light tint sort of a cross between white and the color that we want so after you've done that you want to exit out of that go to your video effects and the only video plugin I use to actually create the simple gradient is called bump map and if you go to your video effects bump map should be there and the specific preset that I use is called spotlight up flat now what I like about this plugin is that uh, what it does is it creates an artificial spotlight onto your media generators and it um, kind of creates a nice gradient um, from the source light so if I decrease the focus or actually increase it uh, it's gonna spread out more and as you can see the gradients of the source light is creating a really soft backdrop for the background now for the intensity you want it to be sort of like around 0.5 or 0.6 uh, because what we want is more light than the actual color itself and this is why we put the focus probably all the way almost up around 0.8 or 9 and the intensity should be pretty high but not too high to a point where uh, there's too much focus on the source light now same goes for the ambience you want to make sure that it's not too much so you don't want to go above 0.2 because um, what it's actually doing is actually making the source light brighter than it needs to be. So you want to always keep it down to about 0.1 and between 0.2. So basically we're done with the um, overall backdrop. As you can see it's pretty similar. Um, you can also change the color of the media generator. But one important rule when you're using the bump map plugin is to always use a light tinted color. You don't want to use a, um, a really solid dark color because you can't really see the effects of the spotlight if you have a really saturated dark color like this one right here. So you always want to keep it at a simple light tinted color. Now for the text, uh, the font that I use is called Trajan Pro. So to insert a text, we're going to go ahead, click on the empty video track on top of the media generator. We're going to go to insert text media and you want to highlight this, center it, and type in whatever you want. I'm just going to type in Alex is cool, not really. And you want to highlight it in order to change the font. So click on the drop down menu and look for Trajan Pro. And I'm just going to decrease the font a little bit here. Alright, so after you're done, um, I also use a different plugin for this and it's a new plugin only available in Sony Vegas Pro 12 so again if you have Vegas Pro 11 I mean you can follow the first step but as for the text plugin we used um, you can't follow along because this is only exclusive for Vegas Pro 12 users so we're gonna go to our video effects again and we're gonna go down to layer dimensionality now this is a plugin I like because um, in short term it does um, add some sort of like a a depth to your text as well as your images and video and um, the specific plugin preset that I use to 
create a kind of like a 3D looking text. You can see that it looks like it's cut out. Um, to create that effect, I use the uh, Edge Glow with Inner Shadow preset. And I'm just going to click on this preset and drag it onto my text. Now, as you can see, right when you drop it onto your text, you can see that it's cut out. But um, in the original project file, I had the cutout be a solid color instead of having uh, random colors kind of glowing around the edges. So to remove that, we're going to go to Glow and change the type of glow from Edge to Inner. And we're going to increase the amount so that it fills up the inside of the text. And there you go. So that's how you create the Simplicity intro. I hope you guys like this short little background tutorial on how I made the Simplicity intro. And um, again, I will have more of these uh, little kind of projects presets so that you guys can actually learn more about Sony Vegas while um, actually making a few of the uh, many stuff that you can actually make and edit in Sony Vegas. So of course, in my next video, I'm going to definitely be going over the layer dimensionality plugin preset for Vegas Pro 12. And if you have any question or comments about any step or a part of this tutorial, please ask me down in the comments below. I'll try and answer all of them. So if you have any more requests for tutorials, just post them down in the comments down below. Like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys next time.